Hi guys, Ant's Reaction here, and today I am back to react to another episode of Young Justice, episode 7 of season 2, titled Depths, or whatever you pronounce it. Um, okay, so last episode was uh, Impulse coming from the future to try and save it, and the one before that was the girls uh, teaming up together and uh, to rescue people that were um, in pods. Uh, okay, so I posted those two videos yesterday, and I had a lot of comments. Some were just curious questions about why exactly I don't like Barbara, which, by the way, I've um, answered that question a few times. Um, I mean, I'm. It's fine. I personally, when I like watch reactors, I don't necessarily watch every videos of. A show because sometimes there are episodes that I simply don't like. So if you missed my explanation, uh, I um, I'm going to actually copy paste um, a previous response to another a comment back in season one to the video uh, of uh, episode four, no five. <laughs> um, simple questions, it's fine. But I'm gonna get this out of the way so that I am done with it because I have to admit, I am pissed. I had people leaving very nasty comments that I had to delete. Like I said, it is fine if you're just curious as to why, but when you treat me like shit because I dare to dislike and shit all over Barbara fucking Gordon because I don't see her as the goddess and queen as the other, as her stance like to believe she is, like, whatever. I, I'm gonna try to be very nice because I want my comments and I want my comment sections and I want the people following me not to have, to, I want us to be kind to each other. So I'm gonna be the very mature person and simply say, if you do not like me making comments about Barbara Gordon, if you love her too much that you cannot handle, I was about to say something mean, I'm sorry, that you cannot handle someone's shit all over her, this is not a channel for you. There are millions of reactors that you can find and there are dozens of them, at the very least a dozen or two, reacting to Young Justice before or currently, I don't know, I'm not watching any reactors right now. You can find whoever, whatever you want. I'm sure there are people, I'm sure I'm probably, because disliking Barbara Gordon is actually a unpopular thing, so I'm sure most of them love her and praise her. This is not the channel for you. So, for your mental health and for mine, I'm going to kindly ask you to fucking leave. Just go away. I do not need you in my comment section being all shitty because I'm an actual real person. She is not. I am not going to hurt her feelings by saying that she is a shitty, abusive, toxic person and girlfriend. And if you don't believe me, please read a comic. I ended up being less nice, but still more nice than most of the a lot of the comments that I had received that I had to delete, but whatever. I just don't get it. Like, personally, I've seen a lot of comments, not on my personal um, vi videos, but like on Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr, I have seen dick haters. And most of them, which is so funny, but uh, and fan fictions, so funny because most of their complaints about him are not canon. It's like that thing of putting uh, Jason and Arkham and wanting to send Tim and Arkham because he is crazy and whatever, being a terrible boyfriend to Barbara. And it's like, that is not how it happened. None of the comments actually are canons or canon thing, but whatever. 
you know what I do when I see those comments? Like sometimes I, I try to argue back and actually give source on like them and they don't, you know, they cannot ac accept the fact that, you know, they're wrong and their favorite character is not perfect uh, because obviously they shit all over dick to prop up usually Tim or Jason and then when you actually give source on say, on being like this is not actually what happened here's what happened they don't agree they don't they refuse to believe that this is canon when I realize that it's a lost cause I leave I don't try to argue because some people just don't want to yeah so again this is my opinion. I am not going to change because I have read the comics and a lot of, of the times she is a shitty person. And yeah, on that comment, most of it is on the top of my mind. Most of it is to do with her relationship with Dick. Yes, but she's also been a very shitty friend to people like fucking Dinah and the fact that people ship them together when she literally hired Dinah's abusers. <sighs> And then she is praised as a queen and a goddess. I hate her with every fiber of my being because actually I have read the red comics. If you don't, despite the fact that you have read comics, it's fine. I don't care. Just don't come at me being like all pissed that I don't agree with you. People are going to disagree with you because people are people. People have their own opinions. Please stop coming at me. Okay? If you don't agree with me, if you find my comments annoying, get the fuck out of my channel. As simple as that. I don't need people like you. People are genuinely curious as to why, because maybe they don't read comics and this is the only times where she, they, you read about her. It's fine. I have no issue with you. I really don't. But when people, and uh, one of the nicest comments that I've actually left was... What the fuck is wrong with me? Because I dare to like her, to dislike her. I mean, that last part wasn't in there, but like, I just don't like her. If you don't agree, again, if you don't agree, leave. I don't need you. Anyway, uh, I'm getting myself worked up. So, I'm gonna start. Now we're going out of our way to contact them. My friend. Okay, we have done that for decades, though. NASA has done that for decades. Yeah. 29, 30. What could go wrong? She's dead. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not. It's one of those things where they're gonna go back and I mean go back in time. They're gonna show us ten hours earlier, and then we're gonna see that it's not actually. She's not actually dead. Jay and John Garrick in Central City. I can't help it, Angelfish. The idea of cooking crabs is amazing enough. What he cannot hold his own plate. <laughs> You're gonna choke. If only. <laughs> if that's not true love, I don't know what is. Chum. You fucking bitch. He's doing it on purpose. To make him jealous. Let's just say that after running this team for a year, I'm peckish for a little action. We haven't seen nearly, n nearly near enough of, about him. You know what I meant. One hour and counting. Now we do have time for a few questions. I thought they were gone. Godfrey. Communication initiative. We Is this actually Megan? Because she, he's supposed to be gone. Is it? Is that? We are out of sight. Good. Let's just get to the. That was Connor. I don't like you levitating. I thought so. Power flight. I'd be happy to join my angelfish on that assignment. Stop calling her that, please. You're right where I need. It's a ridiculous name. I'm sorry. Although to be fair, I'm not that big on nicknames, on pet names. Sorry. The friendly skies alone with super ex boyfriend Neptune's beer. Okay, you know what? Just, just one, you're a rookie. Rookies have the worst jobs. Stop complaining, you're not alone in this. Second, 
How about you do this one thing of trusting your girlfriend? Just saying, like if she actually cares about you and she loves you, she's not gonna cheat. You should trust her. If she actually cheats, then she didn't really care about you, and you better off without her. Just trust her. Jesus Christ, is that Calder or Black Manta? It's father, apparently. I won't give it up until my dying day. I know exactly what you mean. I know. You disapprove of how I use my psychic powers. You mean how you abuse them? Okay. Ripping intel from the minds of your victims with no yeah. concern for what it does to their psychies. They're not victims. They're the bad guys. That information is helping the team... Delete it still doesn't give you the right, though. Leaving your victims in a catatonic state. It's yes. Not right, McGann. You're behaving no better than Simon. If you feel that strongly, why not tell Nightwing? I mean, he's not wrong. I was hoping I mattered enough to you to make you stop. I didn't think you'd try to tamper with my mind. Try to make me forget I was upset with you. Connor. She mind raped him? Sorry you did it. Or sorry you got caught. After all we've been through, how could you think I wouldn't recognize your touch inside my mind? Didn't you know what that touch meant to me? And, and to have you perverted like that? Guess I was kidding myself. I mean, how replaceable was I? Two minutes after I ended, you're dating the rebound guy from the Black Lagoon. Lagoon is not my rebound guy. Uh, yes, he is. I'll scrounge a rebreather from the cargo hold and help the rookie out. Rookie? Neptune's beard. I don't need any help from the boy of steel. Lagoon, hold up. Ah. Stand out. Sorry, you're breaking up. You fucking idiot. You're going to... <sighs> so he is the Connor of this season. <laughs> because last season it was Connor who would uh, defy order orders and just screw up the plan. Because he do angry. <laughs> Although it never caused anybody to die. That I remember. Anybody on our team, anyway. That was really cool. Shapeshifters are so fucking dangerous. Like, not just because they can look like any like anyone and manipulate you that way, but for that. I mean, those that are not just changing their forms and are actually doing it on the on the microscopic level. Cellular level. <laughs> Microscopic level. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's Calder. As you, command, Calder you know what? He deserved it. Fucking idiot. You had a plan and now it's completely screwed up. Oh, fuck. Nice. We are really on the wrong side of this wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was smart. That was really smart. Can you destroy that submarine, please? I love him. Nice. Uh, behind. That was badass. What? I'm not that rusty. <laughs> oh, that was that was really cool <laughs> and very terrifying. So does that mean he's going to kill her? Like, it's not gonna be a simple minion, right? Fuck, she's powerful. Thank you! That's what I said to do. <laughs> He's fine. He's not gonna die like that. 
I mean, he was taken, but I mean, it's still bad. <clears throat> I still think he's on the cover and putting out a really good show. Ah. Welcome back. Artemis. I got you. Hang on. I don't and it still fucking blew up we are done here so she died for nothing i'm no i'm still i'm not buying it i think she's still i don't think she's dead you need to go faster actually for a good cpr I'm just saying i mean you could still keep going i don't no i'm not i'm not buying it i'm not <laughs> i am not buying it okay i'm still on the he's on the cover and this was just for show <laughs> you had quite a day. i'm gonna stun that Yeah, no, you know what? It literally secured his place. Like, yeah, he didn't take credit. But at the end of the day, he could still be like, you're still attached to them, in a way. But he, 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 he killed her, so it, it allows his father to believe that his loyalty is to him and not to the team. I'm, I'm gonna stun that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look so fucking ridiculous if it's not true. <laughs> If she's not on the cover and she, she, no, she's not dead. She's not dead. I'm maybe on, in denial, but I, I'm. Uh... No, you know what? Like from a writing standpoint, it makes sense. It makes actually more sense for her to die here for to or die than, like, cause like it's literally the thing of she's, she came back just to die. The newbies are not gonna know her, and the the OG team, it's literally perfect. Because the ones that did, that doesn't know, like Megan and Connor, they don't know. They don't. It doesn't look like they know because they were the only one there, and they were not like, "Hey, good job, it worked." Uh, although they might be bugs, but like I don't buy that. But like now they're gonna have the incentive. They're gonna have more reasons to actually defeat the light and the black menta. Like to me, it makes more more sense for her to fake her death to help Calder undercover, deeper undercover. I might be really in denial though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Might just be me, just yeah, refusing, but I don't know. I hope he knows too that it was on the cover. We'll laugh about this someday. I mean, I thought it was funny, the picture. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I just need a second because <laughs> I'm sure it was logical, but I, I'm so proud of myself for that. Then again, it, it was probably just denial. I don't know. <laughs> I thought the hand movement was weird. I didn't say anything, but I thought it was weird. Almost too successful. And Magan definitely wasn't supposed to be captured. Hey, that's his own fault. To save his life and maintain my cover. I will find a way to help Lagan. You have my word. We know. He, he was too good to be an actual 
betrayer. Uh, dude, why are you giving bling to my dead girlfriend? Glamour charm, courtesy of Zatanna. Physio. Wally Stella. seems really pissed She's about the whole thing, though. Wow, you look exactly the same <laughs> to the four of us, and only us. Did they break up? Else, you're an entirely different person. Did Dick and Wally break Please up? Guess how you got something so specific from Zatanna. Without revealing who or what. That's cool. We have a history. Dog, it is time. For what? For having a go uh, girlfriend? That's not being a dog. That's having a past. <laughs> oh yeah, he's pissed. I mean, if she's okay with it. Like, it's her choice. She could say no, right? She could just say no. I don't know. Okay, but aren't they gonna be suspicious that he killed Artemis and suddenly there's this new bad guy joining them? I'm talking about the bad guys, not necessarily the team. Like, aren't they gonna be suspicious? Because they know magic is a thing. I don't know. Uh, that was amazing. That was actually probably... No, that was my favorite episode this season. Um... I missed the OG team and we got that and that felt so good. <laughs> um, I had actually a thought that uh, nothing really to do with this episode, but while I still have it, who's taking care of Gotham? Like, honestly, who's taking care of Gotham? Because Batman is in space. So is it Nightwing? Is he maybe sharing with Robin and Batgirl? My voice cracked and went really high. <laughs> Batgirl, Jesus. Um, then again, there's pro they, they might be uh, Kate might be a thing already. I mean, I, I like Luke, but I also... What little I've read of him in his uh, career in Africa? I mean, as long as it's not Jean-Paul Vallée. I don't like him. <laughs> um, okay, but if, if that is true, that it might be Nightwing... Like, when does he find time to sleep? Sorry, I'm uh, looking like I usually do, actually. Oh, uh, by the way, I, I almost went French. <laughs> Sorry. I remember him vaguely. Isn't he a, a dark side minion or something? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I'm sorry, but that is his own fault. He let his pride get in the way and his jealousy get in the way. Like, I get it. I, I do. But I still think it was a stupid move. Then again, stupid moves. I'm used to that with Connor. Like I said, always screwing up plans because he's angry. Is that, is that Tim? Because, like, that's Jaime. Which, by the way, I'm sorry for calling him Jamie. It's just that I've never actually read his, um, heard his name. And I always called it Jamie because that's just how, always how I said his name in French. So I'm sorry, it's Jaime. Um, that is... That's not Zatanna, is it? That's not Zatanna, right? I mean, that's Barbara. Rocket. Yeah, so th that is Tim. Who is that? That's that's a talent, right? I don't know. That was a very good plan, by the way. And they kind of used a very good excuse of the, um, you know, of it being Marsh, Mar Marsh. Mars related and so she's here mostly as a friend to uh to Artemis uh, to to Megan so yeah 
I'm trying to think, but I don't think I have anything else to say. I kind of said everything I wanted to say in the in in the reaction. I don't know if it's because I actually like it was an actually good guess or if it was just me being in denial that, you know, uh, Calder wasn't on the cover and actually killed her. It's just honestly from a writing standpoint, killing her now, I feel like would have not brought as much as it definitely it's going to i feel like it's going to bring as you know faking her death and that wasn't very good like english sentences i'm sorry <laughs> um like this way it's gonna brought it's gonna bring much more to the mission than having her die and that's it so from a writing standpoint i feel like that was the logical thing i don't know um yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.